Now I can say uh, Tangipo Parish Energy reporting uh, 4,100 outages so far. Mm -hmm. um, some other parts of the area starting to see outages as well, and those are certainly going to rise over the next few hours. And we know that a lot of these utility crews, they're on standby. A lot of, you know, companies like Entergy brought in extra people mm -hmm. to get ready for this storm, but the problem is they cannot go up in those bucket trucks when the wind is high. I think it's like a 30 mile per hour threshold mm -hmm. is when they cannot go up into the bucket trucks, so they have to wait for the storm to pass. Uh, Rob Nassan has a look at the crews stationed in Hammond this afternoon. Hey guys, we are in Hammond. All the forecast tracks have been showing that Francine will be passing over this town uh, a little bit later this evening. But as you can see behind me, just a wall of utility trucks, guys in from all over the country to come here and assist after the storm comes through. Some people tell me they're from Illinois. They've got people here from Connecticut. They're all part of a cooperative arrangement that Energy has with power crews from across the country that have come here and filled up this Quality Inn Hotel uh, behind us here at the intersection of I-12 and Highway uh, 51. Uh, they are now waiting to see what the storm will bring. They are ready to move into position as soon as it is over. Uh, Clico has told us that they have brought in 1,700 uh, outside personnel to help out. As you can see, we have these power lines everywhere, and there are trees across the North Shore that will be interacting with these power lines and knocking out power as Francine comes through. But the crews are all here in the hotel waiting their next instructions. They're probably going to be hunkering down tonight. The hotel tells us, tells us that they're full uh, with these utility crews from all over the country that have come down to help out. Uh, we just got off the phone with Tangipo Parish President Robbie Miller. He's been down in the Manchac area uh, checking on preparations for the storm. He believes there will be outages here in uh, Tangipo Parish, but he doesn't believe it will be as bad as it was for Hurricane Ida. But as you can see uh, behind us, the power crews are ready to move in to try and get people to re get restored, get their power up and running again uh, just as quick as they can after this storm moves through. So that's the story from Hammond, which is expected to be ground zero for Francine later on this evening. I'm Rob Masson, Fox 8 Local First. Back to you.